Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be trying to figure out why my WPL uh, C14 transmission is slipping so badly. Okay guys, so I recently uploaded a video of this, a little short of this, and the transmission slipping really, really badly. Uh, it's gotten worse, for sure. Uh, I'll show you guys here real quick. So, yeah, it's just slipping. Like, even from a standstill, like, it just slips. And, yeah, obviously that's bad. Uh, so I'm going to try and figure out why it's doing that. I have a feeling that it is going to be, uh, the gear is slipping on the motor shaft, like the pinion gear, but I guess we'll find out. So let's start tearing into this thing. Um, first got to take the body off real quick here. Now, yep, transmission just pops right out. Okay, so. Now I need to plug the truck back in real quick. Turn the car back on. Ah, so you can see. When I'm on the gas, it's actually this gear right here that's spinning on this shaft. On the problem. Looks like it's cracked there. Oh yeah, it's cracked. So it's not it's not letting it properly catch on that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to drill a tiny tiny little hole in there and uh, I'm gonna put a grub screw in it and Hopefully, hopefully, that will keep it on this shaft. So, let's get a tiny little drill bit out of here. Just gonna use a self-tapping screw to kind of make a little hole for the drill to drill into because it does not want to catch right now. It's just slipping on all this grease. Alright. There we go. So now I've got this tiny little grub screw right here. And hopefully it fits. I had to drill it out a little bit more. Come on. Yes. All right. Check it out, guys. Now, we've actually got something supporting it. Sweet. So now, I gotta drill a flat spot onto there. Nothing beautiful, but it'll do. So first, let's just slide this right on there. Okay. Oops. 
hopefully this works this time. Can't get it on there too tight. All right guys, so I drilled a hole into the uh, uh, into the shaft and uh, made sure it was deep enough for the threads of the grub screw to actually get in there. And uh, yeah, now it's on there. And that ain't moving, so uh yeah let's get this thing back onto the truck and uh hopefully it's not gonna break again all right so i had to take the gear off because i do have to get this into there and then put the gear on so i'll get the gear slide it on there make sure to press nice and hard Make sure the threads are actually getting, are actually grabbing onto the shaft and not just the gear. All right, so got that on there. Get that on there. and freely in there so let's get this on and this on turn the radio on plug the truck in and just make sure that this is gonna work Sweet. So now let's just, I'll just uh, put everything back in and we get to go. Hopefully, decides to uh, work still. Still slipping. Looks like I'll be taking this apart for a third time. All right, so the screw actually fell out completely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill it deeper and get a longer screw and hopefully that fixes it. Well guys, that's the end of it. Uh, I drilled too far. I drilled through the entire shaft. Do not do that. I still think this could have worked. Um, but I drilled all the way through the shaft and it just made it too weak and so it gave out. Um, I almost had it too, which is the most annoying part. So yeah guys, if you want to try this, then go ahead. Um, I really do think that it does have a chance. I think that really, I just, if 
I could have tapped it, I don't have a tap, but if you've got a tap, you can tap the hole, put threads in it, and it should keep the grub screw in there. Um, and then obviously put Loctite in it, and then probably put some hot glue over that, or some epoxy or something to keep it from backing out even more. And um, yeah, that would probably be good, but yeah, guys, I have a two-speed transmission coming for this thing. Uh, I also have portal axles coming, a 40 amp speed controller. I got a Spectrum SLT3 uh, radio for it. And I have a Metal Gear servo to make this thing actually have proportional steering. So yeah, guys, if you wanna see me build this thing into an absolute tank of a truck, then uh, yeah, be sure to hit the subscribe button leave a like on the video, uh, leave a comment if you have any more ideas as to what uh, might help with fixing this, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.